Ooh, party tricks. <laughs> No, we're doing this again. <laughs> oh no, we're right back into it. Oh, I might go change shirts. This is a respectable shirt. We got shit. So oil change, spark plug, uh, oil pan, oil pan gasket, valve cover gasket, power steering fluid, uh, car. As you can see, we already got the car off the ground. Picking back up from where I left off last night, as far as powder coating the wheels and stuff goes, I found somebody that can powder coat them tomorrow, which is Sunday. So I'll be going over there and doing that. That's actually Carolina Stance Shop. So if you're in South Carolina, even some parts of North Carolina, I recommend going there. They do a lot of good stance shop shit. To get a valve cover off, we gotta pull this, this, wires, hoses, potentially this section of the intake manifold, not sure. Obviously throttle body cable, and that should give us access to the valve cover. I'll obviously be pulling this off. And then on the bottom, the oil pan is dented in like a motherfucker. Here's the oil pan. That's what it's supposed to look like. Damn, it's pretty bad. Yeah, that's what I've been swimming in. My very own concoction. That's that good stink. Got all this shit off. Now I'm working on pulling the valve covers off. It's pretty grody in there. That's the progress I'm at. <laughs> Josh is under there. <laughs> I thought you said gloop glop glooper. <laughs> gloop glop glooper. <laughs> Alright, so we just got back from running a quick trip to Walmart. We had to get some RTV gasket shit because in this section right here and here and on the other side as well, you're supposed to put a little dab because the gasket that you put in the valve cover doesn't always seal perfectly in those corners and we're trying to avoid any leaks. As far as progress goes, we've gotten the valve covers off. We've done all that, cleaned up on the inside. The old oil pan has come off. This is the new one. I'll show you the difference. Here's the old one. Versus the new one. I'm surprised it didn't crack or anything. So we just gotta slap the valve covers on. Slap the new oil pan on, which is not an easy task. <laughs> and then the uh, valve covers are painted and ready to go back. <laughs> How you feeling, man? I don't want to ever do that again. <laughs> we just got done with a spark plug change, valve cover gasket, oil pan swap, or replacement, I guess. The oil pan gasket, which... Just the oil pan alone was a pain in the ass. Six bolts. Exactly six bolts out of like the fucking 20. Right above the sub. I mean, let me see if I can kind of show. This is the oil pan subframe. They're back there throughout here on both sides. It's all done. We just topped it off. Now we're going to start it for the first time and see if it explodes or not. I hope not. <laughs> All right, there's WRX keys. Found those. Are they in the seat? Are you sitting on them? No, who would do that? I guess we'll let it cool down for like a couple seconds and then check the oil again. 
see if it needs to go back up and we'll go take it for a spin around the block just make sure it doesn't explode <laughs> we'll be good yeah you can pop it off that's not gonna work there's no fucking way why don't you turn the bottle so you're not fighting them. <laughs> well, I, I thought there'd be enough in there still. Oh, it does work. You fucking tried this before? I do this for a living. Of course I've done dumb shit. I mean, I never mess around at work. I take my job very seriously. It's actually working. <laughs> Ooh, party tricks. <laughs> I can't laugh while I'm doing this. A death sentence. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> this is critical. <laughs> Stop pointing it. Listen, the best way to to give plastic components in an engine bay their shine back is to get a little oil on them. Actually, it's just hard oil. It's absolutely facts. Yeah, it's just hard hard oil. It's like dinosaurs. Yeah. There you go. Shit, I got a lot of things in my hands. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm not doing it. Ah, yay. It rubs off right now, okay? When we put the coils on and adjusted everything, they were still, uh, <laughs> they're still new. They didn't settle yet. Is this, this is all I got for seat adjustment? This is the lowest I can go? Yep. Jesus, my fucking head's in the ceiling. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Fitment's not quite there yet, okay? No, the fitment's there. The functional fitment's not quite there yet. <laughs> oh, buttons! <laughs> oh Hello. my god, you're in the fucking <laughs> ceiling. Yeah, I don't, I, dude, Jesus. Wait, is that a sunroof? Oh yeah, my sunroof. god. Yeah, no, We're balling out. We got a swell moonroof. I don't know, people, some people get picky about that. It feels way more fluid and smooth. Yeah. Does it stutter? No. No? I mean, new plugs and oil will do that. The oil pan's not dented in, so it's not starving the motor anymore. Yeah, you get to experience this. Experience. Oh. Jesus. Tomorrow, we'll move those into your car. Yep, that one. Yeah, well, that's it. You are like an oven, I'm gonna need to miss. Were you in my dreams? Nah, nah. You played them like movie, you bad and you bougie like the devil wears Prada.